Good morning, I'm coming to you from the car closet and I'm coming to give you words of encouragement and hope that will bless your lives and your children's lives. And um, today's topic, specific prayer, I wanna talk about when you're ja damaged. The prayer is when you're damaged and the answer is to begin again. And so I have a little chart um, that I created. I seem to be good with the words. Uh, so I use what words to drive the points home. The word that I pulled out in this particular, for this particular topic is begin, begin, begin. And so the B, with the B in begin, we're gonna go with broken, broken. Let's see. Okay, broken, 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 damage. And so I have here your best is birth when you are broken. Is birth when you're broken. In other words, God gets the best out of you when you're broken. When you're going through trials and troubles and tribulations, it's when you're broken that you pray more. When you're broken, you seek His face more. When you're broken, you get in His word more. When you're broken, when you're damaged. All right. The E we're going to go with experience. Experience. Why experience? Because you learn a lot from experience. It's easy for other people to tell you how to do something until you do it yourself. Once you get hands on, now you know. Once you've gone through it yourself, now you know. Yes, you've heard, but now you know when you have gone through something, whatever the it is, now you know. And so your lessons are learned through your experience. And the G, the G, we're going to go with grace. Grace. Why grace? Because God will give you grace to go through it. He'll give you grace to not just go through it. You'll grow through situations. And let me put a pin in it here. Sometimes we just go through situations. We go through the motions again and again and again. But what God is saying to us is, let's grow through our situations. Learn. Take what I've given you. Don't look at it as a negative. Everything that comes in our lives, it comes in our lives to help to make us better. Even when we don't like situations, even when things are going on around us that we sometimes feel that we, we feel that we want to change in some situations, we're not going to be able to change right then. But when God is saying my grace is sufficient, I have enough grace that I've given you that you will be able to bear it. You'll be able to sustain it. You'll be able to go through it, not just go through it, but we should be growing. In other words, help us, let us to be learning instead of keep repeating the same thing because sometimes it's, let me put a pin right here sometimes in certain little situations we go through the same thing again and again it becomes a cycle why because we didn't learn if i when we were in school for example they're starting back back to school now right okay for those who, of us who if, if we didn't learn whatever lesson guess what we had to repeat a grade we had to repeat whatever the lesson was. We had to, why? They wouldn't pass us. They're not just going to pass us just because we in the class and, oh, okay, we getting bigger. Now we need to go. No, they're going to pass you when you learn the material. And it's the same thing when it comes to life. Life skills. We don't move forward until we learn whatever that particular lesson is until we pass it. And so lessons come in our life that, okay, this, uh, this you're going through now. So once that, once we learn it and once we master it, that we're able to grow through it. Now we pass the test. But if we keep failing the test, we're going to keep going back through the same thing until we pass that test. But even in that, what I'm, what I'm saying to you, God is giving us the grace to go through it. He's given us the grace to go through it. You, you understand? So even in my own life, I understand there's some things that I know I got to get worked work out in me that God has to get out of me to get me to the place where he would have me to be and it's not always other people sometimes sometimes we stand in our own way by the things that we're not that 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 we're not doing or that we're allowing to happen even in our own lives and so what God is saying I'm going to give you the grace to go through it when you come out you're going to you're going to have you're going to be graceful it's going to be a graceful transformation Jamila in this situation amen Amen. So God will give you the grace. The I in begin is going to be ideas. Ideas. Why ideas? Because God gives us ideas. He gives us thoughts. The thoughts that come in our head. 
Not the evil and wicked thought. We cast those thoughts down. But when God puts thoughts in your head, he gives you the ingenuity to get to where he's trying to get you to be. And so what he what he wants us to do is when he gives us the idea, let me put a pen in it right here. When God gives you an idea, he gives you an idea and he wants you to take action on those ideas and thoughts that he gives you. Guess what? If you don't do it, somebody else will. He'll get somebody else to do what he's giving you to do. And what God is saying is, I'm giving it to you to do it, but you won't do what I told you to do. So you, you, you're you slow procrastinating. And so when you don't do it, guess what? One monkey don't stop, no show. And so what God is going to do, he bowed right the ass over you and get that idea to somebody else. And it's whoever works the idea, whoever works the idea that God gives them. And that's our give back to God. Whatever he gave us, the ideas that he's given us, that's what he says. I'm giving it to you. So now work what I've given you and be diligent. Be faithful in what I've given you. Don't be slack. Preach to yourself, Laverne. And so the end, the end and begin, we're going to go with new. New. Why new? Because sometimes we need things new. Right? Sometimes we need things new. And so with new, I want you all to see this picture I have here. I have new perspective, and then I have a picture of some eyes, and then I have a new soul. And so, in other words, God will give you a new look. You need sometimes a new pair of eyes, all right? A, a new pair of eyes, not physical eyes, but insight, okay? A new pair of eyes, a new perspective, getting from around the circles in the situations wherever you were at that time, and getting a new perspective on whatever it is that God has for you. You get a new perspective. And what else does he do? He puts a new song in your mouth. Huh? God will give you a new song. He'll put a new song in your mouth. He'll put a new song in your heart. So I just want to touch and agree today. And just for you all to understand, we're in a, we're in a month we call August. All the preachers and everything have been talking about number eight. Eight is the number new beginning. Yes. Eight is the number new beginning. And many times we need to begin again. Many times we need to start over. Because of for whatever, whatever the issues, the reasons, whatever. In life circumstances, there will come a time when you just want to start over. You just want to start over. And yes, God uses whatever the it is that you've been going through in your life to bring you to the place. It makes you better. It makes you more humble. It gets you to serve him more. It gets you to praise him more. It gets you to have a closer walk with God. Amen. So let us go forth in prayer and clear our hearts and our minds to pray and understand and know. Let me put a pen in it right here. This came to me. Sometimes you got to interrupt and listen to what God is saying to you. When you're, when you're, just as the potter had in his hand, the potter had a, he had a, he had a, a clay, a pot of clay. He was making a pot of clay. And when he was making that pot of clay, right? He found a dent in it, right? He found that it was marred. The Bible says that it was marred. This has a dent in it, right? I don't like it. So what am I going to do? What did the potter do? He mashed it down, right? He broke it. He broke it so he can make it. He can make it new. So he can build it back up how he wants to do it. And sometimes we're damaged goods, right? But just because you're damaged good, guess what? You still in God's hands. Damaged, but still in his hands. Damaged, but he's able to take you and mold you and fix you back and make you better so that you can now be useful, right? You can be useful. Still can be used, right? Once he makes you back better. So let us go forth and pray. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. And he brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. And he has established my goings and he had put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. Lord, we just thank you for this day, Lord God. We thank you for being our God, our shepherd, our Lord, our anchor, our banner, our everything, Lord God. We just thank you, Lord God. And we give you praise, glory, and honor, Lord. We praise you, Lord God, because you're righteous. We praise 
praise you because you're awesome, because you're marvelous, Lord God. Many are your works that you've done to us, Lord, and your thoughts that are to us, with Lord God. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto you, Lord God. If we would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Father God, we just bless your name, Lord God, today, Lord, because you're worthy to be blessed, Lord God. You're Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end, Lord God, and we just bless your name. Father, we pray that you will forgive us of our sins that we've committed from the day we were born until this very second, Lord God. Lord, I touch and agree with those that are joining me at this time, Lord God, and those who would hear the video later on, Lord God, that people, Lord God, that have been damaged, people that have been marred, Lord God, people that have been broken, Lord God, but we're in your hands, Lord God, broken, but we're in your hands, Lord God, not understanding everything, but we're still in your hands, Lord God, and Father God, just as the potter took the potter, took that pot of clay, Lord God, and he broke it, Father God, on the wheel to build it back up a vessel that, that he wanted, Lord God, just as you did, Lord God, for the potter, for the, for the clay, Lord God, you're doing for us, Lord God, so we thank you, Lord God, even for the brokenness, Lord God, we thank you even when you break us, Lord God, even when we don't like situations, Lord God, even when we don't like what we're going through, Lord God, even when we ask you the question, why, Lord God, we still thank you for the breaking of us, Lord God, because of the breaking of us that's going to make us, Lord Jesus, Lord, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that when you break us, Lord God, you're making us, Lord God, you're making us into a better vessel, Lord God, you're making us without a spot and without a wrinkle, Lord God, and without a blemish, Lord God, that's what you want for your church, that's what you want for your children, Lord God, you want to make us better, Lord God, so that we can be useful to the kingdom, so that we can unpack the kingdom, Lord God, so that you can get the glory, the honor, and the praise, Lord, and we're supposed to be winning people on your side, Lord, so we pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we will hearken unto your voice, Lord God. And do what you've called us to do. Lord, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we will humble ourselves under your mighty hand, Lord God, and you will lift us up in due time, Lord God. Lord, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that when you make us new, Lord God, when you give us the chapter 42 of our life, Lord God, even when it seems, Lord God, that folk are around us, Lord God, that have been crushing us, Lord God, sometime, even from friendly fire, Lord God, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that when you make us new, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that we will be able to walk and move forward, Lord God. We give you praise, we give you glory, and we give you honor, Lord God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to stay on the straight and narrow. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Just be encouraged. Be encouraged. Thank you all so much for supporting me. Just be encouraged. Be encouraged is my sincere prayer. God has me working on a project. It'll be completed soon. And just trust and know that whatever God has, whatever he's promised, he's able also to perform, perform and he will make a new day in your life and in your situation. Be blessed is my sincere prayer this day. Amen.